Have you ever bumped into stale element exception and didn't know what to do? Well, you're lucky today, you just came to the right place. Hi everybody, I hope that you are doing fine. Welcome to our newest series about Selenium exceptions. And today we'll study about the stale element exception. This kind of exception occurs many times and you can find countless questions in Quora and Stack Overflow about developers that bumped into this kind of an exception. So we'll start by understanding what is this type of exception and we'll also try to offer some solutions to it. So when does it happen? First, it can happen while we navigate to a different page while we're still holding the specific web element in memory. Also, whenever a web page is refreshed, so think about it that you have an object in your memory and then the page is being refreshed and everything is being redrawn to the screen. Now the element that you've held in the memory has different reference, has different pointer in the memory. That's why you can no longer use it. Also, it can be that the item was removed from the page. Sometimes you have an element that is being deleted because web pages are interactable. So you probably bumped into an element that was removed. And due to some JavaScript actions, it might be no longer attached to the DOM. Let's look at an example. We'll navigate to one of our favorite web pages. So this QQ page, because it's so slow, I like to make some tests on it because we can find some different aspects of a web page that sometimes we can encounter in other pages. Okay, so let's say that we've succeeded navigating to, to this web page and we have this banner here. I personally doesn't know Chinese, but I do know that whenever I click this banner, I will have a new tab with a new commercial. So let's click on it. Now you can see that we still have a new tab. So what would happen in Selenium if you'll try to switch to this new tab? So now your focus will be this particular window or tab, and then you will try to re-click on it. So if we switch manually the focus, of course it won't happen, but when we are performing an automated test, we need to make sure that we switch to the correct tab. Let's try to run it. I'll debug the code so we can stop. By the way, if you don't know this project, you can find it in the page object model example. There you can find a more profound explanation about all the code that you are seeing here. So I'll link this video down below. You also can see the link to this video above. Okay, so let me open my browser. Now you can see that uh, I'm trying to click on the right banner. You see, I'm now in line number 52 and this is my window. So let's step over it. As you can see here, this button was clicked. Okay, now I can rerun this line of code, by the way, you, you should check out our latest video about debug and you can understand whatever I'm doing here with the evaluate expression and the step over. So if you don't know a lot about debug, please check out this video. You can see now that even though that we were here in this banner, in our code, the focus was still on this page. So the element that holds the banner was still clickable. Now, if I'll run the next line of code, line number 54, it will switch to the last open tab. Okay, so this now it switched to this tab. And then let's try to click on this banner again. Now you can see here that I have the stale element exception and we also understood why it happened. Since we started in this web page and we identified this web element as this banner, but we switched to a new tab, now the element is still in the memory, but we are trying 
to locate it again. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's debug the code. And again, we're stopping. And let's click on this banner. Of course, you know that I've, if I'll try to click it again, it will happen. But if I'll go back to this page and I will refresh it, a lot of web pages are being refreshed all the time. So I'll manually refresh it. And now I'll try to click on it again. Now you can see that I have the stale element exception again, now from a different reason. I was still in the focus of this page, but the element, the original one, even though it looks the same, in our memory, it was held in a different location. So we had a different pointer to the memory. So how can we solve all of this? Let's look at some possible solutions. In our first case, we can return the focus to the correct page. In this case, we can figure out if it does uh, help or not. Also, we can retry to locate the element. We can, uh, whenever we, we know that something like this can happen, we can tell our code to find the element again. I don't really like this practice because it, it's hard to maintain the code. Sometimes uh, the stale element will happen without our knowledge. So it only works if we know that this element is going to be in a stale state. And another possible and nice solution is to wrap it up with a try and catch block. We'll look at the first and the third solutions right now. So let's rerun the test again. Okay. Now I'm, I have this click and I will switch to the last open tab in line number 54. And for a second, I will try to re-click this banner. I have the state element exception only here in the evaluate expression window. But what would happen if I'll switch to the first open tab which is a method that I've added. You just switch to the tab in the zero index. Now we switch our focus back here. And if I'll try to click on it again, I won't have the style element exception. I hope that this was clear enough because this was fairly simple. We switched the focus to another page and then we went back. The object that was stored in our memory was the same object because this page wasn't closed or reloaded. So everything was fine. The other solution can be a little bit more tricky. So let's stop the execution. And let's say that after we switch to this uh, banner, after we'll click we'll try to uh, relocate the element. Let's step into this method for a second and we'll make some changes. Also, let's say that we have the driver.navigate.refresh. If we'll step into this method, we can see that because we're using page object model, this element is being looked in our constructor whenever we use the init element method. So I'll copy the ID of this banner. And let's say that whenever we want to click on this right banner, we can say that we have the web element. I will delete the previous one. So we'll have a web element, element, or we can call it right banner. And we'll say right 
we'll say driver find element by ID and I can provide this ID now. Let's say that we'll initialize the boolean variable. Click was successful and we'll say now it's false. We can say while click was successful, while not click was successful. So while it was false. We can try. We can try to click on the right banner and we can catch this exception, stale element exception. Whenever we are, we are bumping into this exception, let's try to refine the right banner. If we'll succeed by in clicking, we can change the value of click was successful to true. And then well, we also can return a Boolean value, by the way, because now we have this value, click was successful. Of course, you can return the click was successful here. You can see that this while loop is not good enough. I have to add a timeout here because maybe it won't, never would be successful. So this might be an infinite loop. But just for the purpose of this demonstration, I won't do it, but you should add a condition while not timeout. And if you don't know how to write timeouts in weights, I encourage you to check out our video about weights in Selenium. Okay, we're now trying to look at a specific case that we are succeeding in identifying the element, but we're trying to click on it and getting a stale element exception. So let's rerun the code now. Now, now it won't be so wasteful because we already identified the element. If everything will be uh, successful and we'll have the true value here, we'll never iterate this loop more than once. So again, let's have a look. Okay, <clears throat> now I'll, I'm refreshing the page. Let's step into this method. Let's try to click. As you can see, I got into the catch block because the stale element exception was raised. Now I'm trying to relocate the right banner and I'm trying to click on it. Now, of course, I succeeded in solving the stale element exception and I can return a true value here. That's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like more video like this, please share it in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it now. We would like to hear your opinions and suggestions for next videos. Stay tuned for more videos about Selenium exceptions in the next couple of weeks. That's all for today. Thank you guys and have a great day.